wonder why God didn't answer me. I prayed so hard, and it didn't help. Oh, what were you praying about that didn't help? Oh, hi, Gramps. Um, remember when you taught us to pray, and you said God would always answer us? Oh, yes, of course. I pray almost all the time about almost everything. And God always answers. Well, then, why didn't he answer me? Oh, well, what were you praying for? I was praying for my friend, Eek the mouse. Lately, he doesn't want to spend any time at all with me. He just wants to run around with some of the other mice who are about his age. Well, I can see why he'd like that. I mean, they are mice. They like to do the same things. Yeah, I understand, but I miss him. And I'm worried, too. I think those mice might be getting into trouble, you know, chewing up stuff and leaving their dirt all over. Oh, well, do you have any proof of that? I mean, or are you just upset because he's been ignoring you? Um, well, I'm not sure. Uh, mice all do look alike, you know. Now, Noah, I know perfectly well that you can pick Eek out of any crowd of mice. Oh, so maybe I am just a little jealous. Oh, it's just that you wanted a friend. Well, I prayed, and I prayed, but God didn't answer. Well, didn't he? Nothing changed. Hmm. Tell me, Noah, what do you want more than anything else in the world? Is it a friend? Yeah, I guess. Well, I want more than anything else in the world to be rediscovered and taking ba taken back into God's service. Yeah, and we all pray for that every day, but it still hasn't happened, so why do you say that God always answers your prayers? Well, he doesn't always immediately give us whatever we want and uh, whatever we ask for. Uh, sometimes he, he gives us something else, something that's even better. Uh, better for everyone and not just for us. That happened once when Jesus prayed. Really? Yep, it's reported in Matthew 26, Mark 14, and Luke 22. Uh, it was the same night of that last supper that you and Granny were talking about last week. Jesus and his disciples, after they ate, went up on the Mount of Olives and into a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus was very sorrowful, and uh, he asked James and Peter and John to pray. And then he went a little further and fell down on his face and prayed. Well, why was he upset? And what did he pray? Well, his disciples didn't understand what was about to happen, and they fell asleep, even though Jesus warned them to pray so that they wouldn't be falling into temptation. He predicted that before the night was over, they would all fall away from him. They didn't believe him. Uh, Jesus, though, he knew exactly what was about to happen. And that's why he prayed, My Father, if it's possible, may this cup pass from me. But yet not my will, but thine be done. The cup, he meant, was the sorrow that was weighing him down. Uh, he wasn't rebelling against God's will. Oh, no, he wasn't, obviously. Uh, because he said, yet not as I will, but as you will. Uh, he was ready to accept his father's will for him, whatever it was. Exactly. As a puppet, or as a human, when you pray about what you want God to do for you, you must consider it uh, if it's God's will or just what you want. Am I being selfish or is this best for what for everyone? If it's something that you know is not God's will and you are being selfish, then you should not pray it at all. Well, except maybe to ask God to forgive your selfishness. Right. Praying isn't like a letter to Santa Claus or an order blank. You don't tell the all-knowing God of the universe what to do. Oh, that would be ridiculous. He's God. I'm not. So... When you pray, you may tell God what the problem is as you see it or what you want him to do, but you must always make sure that you are ready to submit your will to his 
and to his timing and his way of taking care of whatever it is. Sometimes I have to ask for help for, with that. Well, it's not easy when you want something really badly. And I think it's even harder for us guys sometimes. We're raised to take care of business ourselves. Uh, sometimes that we translate that into thinking that submission, even to God, is a weakness. As difficult as it sometimes is to do that, uh, it's a real sign of strength and courage to give everything in our lives over to God and then trust Him completely. And He knows the best time and way. Uh, like for us to be taken back into service, oh, waiting is hard, but He's in charge. Jesus wasn't being selfish, though. He was just dreading something really bad that was about to happen. Uh, there's some disagreement about exactly what he meant, but God sent help to him. Luke tells us that an angel came and strengthened him, and when he finished praying, he was at peace with his future. Uh, that's what prayer often does for us, gives us peace about a problem. Oh, I see, so that is an answer to prayer. It's a great answer to prayer. Huh, thanks, Gramps. All to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I surrender all, I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender.